Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. You can find me on Instagram. My handle on there is Boxing Time with Evan. And um, basically you're watching Boxing Time TV. Uh, this fight is not yet made. I happen to think it's going to happen in 2018 simply because Bob Arum is kind of grooming Jeff Horn for this. We'll get to that in a little bit. But let's get right to the fight. We have Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn. Crawford is 30 years of age. Horn is 29. Crawford is 5'8", um, uh, Crawford's 5'9", I made him the same weight, Crawford has a 70 inch reach, Horn has a 68 inch reach, they're both undefeated, Crawford 32-0, Jeff Horn 18-0, let's get right to the particulars, and it's a 12 round fight, 3, point, uh, sorry, three minute rounds, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory 8 count, 3 knockdown rule wave, and let's just get, oh wait, hold on, oh, sorry, sorry, I, uh, I, I forgot to put it on slow, so um, I'm just going to pause it. And then we're going to start off. I'm going to hit H and I'm going to get this. This is, uh, this is kind of embarrassing. Let's just, get, uh, let's just get right to it. So now these guys are fighting. Sorry about that. That was kind of a jolt for all of us. These guys just ran out. And, you know, this is a fight that on paper, it does not seem to me, oh, look at that Terrence Crawford. It doesn't seem to me that Jeff Horn has any chance of winning. I just don't think that he hits hard enough. His skill level is such that I think Terrence Crawford, who reminds me a lot of Alexis Arguello, can just sort of figure him out and then, and then stop him. And I think that that's what we're going to see. However, Jeff Horn is very, very gritty. He's very, very tough. And as he showed in his victories over Manny Pacquiao and then recently over um, Gary Kikorin, um, he, you know, he's gritty, he's tough, and, and maybe, you know, there's things that he can do that, 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 that maybe, you know, Terrence Crawford hasn't seen. I mean, Jeff Horn is a legitimate welterweight, and Terrence Crawford is coming up in weight. So, you know, but I, I, I just think that, you know, if I'm Jeff Horn, I make this a dirty fight, I go to the body a lot, you know, I be the dirty fighter that um, people have said that he, he is. Um, and, you know, maybe he, maybe he will be. I just think that Terrence Crawford is such that, you know, he's going to step back. He's going to he's gonna look for openings. He's not going to get too close. He's going to keep Terrence Crawford on, on the end of his punches. And he's probably going to beat him. But, you know, I'm just watching like you're all watching right now. I have this on simulation. And, you know, I normally, I, I like to wait until fights are actually made. Like, I was going to do next, I was going to do um, Lanera's Gesta. Or Jesta, however you say his name. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. But um, I just, I don't know. I, I watched Gary Kikorin fight this week. And, you know, I, I just know that this fight's probably going to be made. And I figured, why not try to make it and just sort of see what happens. I mean, I did Jeff Horn versus Manny Pacquiao. And, and so, yeah, I, I, I just figured that I would make it. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. We have Terrence Crawford on the left side of the screen. Jeff Horn on the right side of the screen. And, you know, I do like Jeff Horn. He really is a Rocky-esque story in the sense that, you know, he was given that opportunity against Pacquiao. He made the most of it. He's already made another. He's already made a defense of his title. And now there's talk that he's going to fight Anthony Mundine. My only question about that is how does he fight Anthony Mun Mundine? Because, and I'm going to look this up as I'm talking, Mundine is a, I thought he was a middleweight or at least a super middleweight. So, you know, let's kind of, let's kind of go to... Um, Anthony Mundine. Um, so yeah, bringing him up. And right now, um, I just think that Terrence Crawford is is keeping Jeff Horn at the end of his punches. He has the distance that he likes. He, he's fighting where he likes, and he's basically making it hard for Jeff Horn to land. And he's and Crawford is also landing at range. So you know we're in the final ten seconds of the bout. It's you know, of the round. And I think that so far, that first round has to go to Terrence Crawford. He landed the cleaner, crisper punches. Let's see what the judges say as I get the information. Yeah, so what it's saying is weight is 154 pounds. Um, so I, I just, well, one judge gave that round to Jeff Horn. Two of them gave it to Terrence, to, uh, Terrence Crawford. However, Anthony Mundine... Now they're saying that he fights in a lot of heavyweight division. Very hard punch landed. I believe that that was Jeff Horn. I'm sorry, I was looking at my phone. And, um, yeah, so it's saying here that, that, um, that, uh, that, uh, Mundine has a fight coming up on the 17th of, of, uh, January 2018 against Tommy Brown. Then he fought as a cruiserweight against Danny Green. So how in the world, I mean, unless this is going to be like a, like a non-title fight. Oh, look at Jeff Horn landing on Terrence Crawford. Certainly getting Crawford's attention. 
And let's see if Jeff Horn, you know, enough about Anthony Mundine. Let's see if uh, Jeff, Jeff Horn can do enough to, you know, to make himself more competitive and, and more of a factor in this, in this, in this fight. So Crawford boxing from the range. Oh, and he's landing right there, but he gets stuffed there by Jeff Horn. Horn is, ma you know, making him pay. And, you know, you never know. The punches that felled the junior welterweights, and I, I believe Crawford fought at lightweight as well. The punches that felled them maybe are not going to have the same effect on Jeff Horn, who's a bigger natural, you know, welterweight. And maybe the Mundine fight makes sense now. If you consider Jeff Horn probably walks around at super middleweight, maybe it's going to be the kind of thing, he, you know, he's not going to have to come, come down as much. But Mundine's a dangerous guy despite the fact that he does have eight, eight losses. About the halfway point of this, of this fight, and I just get the sense from Terrence Crawford that he is always, always ahead, or not ahead, but always in control. And um, someone had actually wanted me to make the um, Antoine Douglas fight. Uh, he fought last night against... Um, I forget who we fought. I apologize because I'm always telling you guys, hey, direct message me. You know, tell me about the fight that you know. Tell me about the fights that you want to see, and I'll make them. And I will. The person is, I gotta have a little more than a week's notice. So if you can ask me to make a fight, have it at least be a couple of weeks out, and then I have like a like like, like at least a week to uh, make it. I try to do one of these a week. I usually do them on Sundays, sometimes on Saturdays, sometimes even on Fridays. But I would like to do more than that. I would like to do two or three a week. It just doesn't always work out that way. But yeah, Crawford, I think he popped Jeff Horn really hard with a right hand. I, I, I want to say it jolted his body and and it just it put Terrence Crawford in a position. Now, Terrence, Terrence Crawford is right once again back in the driver's seat, fighting in a distance. And Jeff Horn's punches are just missing. So we're heading into the final 10 seconds of the second round. Oh, and you just saw that Crawford got out of the way, landed two really hard punches against Jeff Jeff Horn, and then Crawford landed a, a left hand. So he's um, Horns. I'm sorry, Horns having success with that left hand. Um, both fighters are breathing heavy. So far, Terence Crawford it looks like he's going to get this round from all three judges. And um, so we got ten more rounds left in this bout between Terence Crawford and Jeff and Jeff Horn. Oh, and Terrence Crawford going to the body. That's the thing. He starts mixing up those body and head shots. It's going to be a short night for Jeff for Jeff Horn. And, and, and what I'm liking what I'm seeing from Terrence Crawford. Well, I think Jeff Horn's doing some really good work. Is that Crawford's landing, and he's getting really compact and making it very hard for Jeff Horn to hit him. And, you know, that's just going to take a lot out of Jeff, Jeff Horn in this, in this battle. Oh, going to the body is Terrence is Terrence Crawford. Oh, look at that. Look at that left hand. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share these videos. Tell people about this. Let me know the fights that you want to see made. At least give me a week to get them made. Um... And I will do my best. And, 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 and another thing was, it was less than a week, and the fight was coming up in less than a week. So that's also hard too. If the fights are like a few a, a few weeks out, it's even it just makes it easier. So I apologize. Probably should have prefaced that when I was uh, telling telling people. Wow, Terrence Crawford doing a really good job of measuring with the jab and then landing punches behind it. So Jeff Horn going to the body of Terrence Crawford. Oh, Terrence Crawford landing hard from the from the outside. Now we have we have a minute left to go in this the third round. And 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 Horn, I'm I'm got you gotta give him credit. Landing that left hand, tagging Terrence Crawford. Basically saying, welcome to the welterweight division. And yeah, this is uh, this is this is you know a, a competitive fight. You know, it's happening. Jeff Horn isn't being blown out. 
And, you know, it's just right now, it, you know, Terrence Crawford really starting to get comfortable, starting to land. He landed a lot more this round than he has in the previous two rounds, and I thought he landed pretty okay in those rounds as well. Oh, wow. Just starting to really tattoo Jeff, Jeff Horn. But Horn hits him with an uppercut, and I'm telling you, if Horn can land, he's in this fight. Because he's so gritty, so just, you know, tactically smart. We're in the final 10, 10 seconds now of the third round. Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn. You're watching Boxing Time TV. Let's see what the judges say. Okay, they're saying Horn has a bruised rib. They're giving this round to Terrence, Terrence Crawford. So far, it's been all Terrence Crawford pretty much except for one judge. Je Jeff Horn's going to want to, you know, get, start getting dirty. Gonna, he's going to want to start landing. And Terrence Crawford just... Really relaxed in there, landing shots to the head. He, he wants to go to the body. He wants to crack that bruised rib, because um, that ultimately is what's gonna is what's gonna really slow Jeff Horn down and probably get Terrence Crawford a stoppage. I mean, just like I'm saying, like on paper, it just seems like Terrence Terrence Crawford is just so much more ahead of the game than Jeff than Jeff Horn. Oh, wow. Left hand from Terrence, Terrence Crawford. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, from Jeff, Jeff Horn. Terrence, Terrence Crawford even getting more comfortable. He's got to watch out, though. Horn is cagey, Horn sneaky, and Horn, you know, like I said, as long as he can land, as long as he feels that way. I mean, that's what he did against Manny Pacquiao. He just came in and landed, but wow, Terrence Crawford is tattooing him with really hard shots. Oh, look at that. Jeff Horn landing with a straight... Oh, oh, a body shot. Oh, body shot by Terrence Crawford. Sets up a beautiful right hand. Oh, man. Wow. And Terrence Crawford is made, making that look, look easy. As Jeff Horn gets up and he just tattoos him with, 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 with a ton of shots. Wow. Well, talk about a command performance by Terrence Bud Crawford. In this bout on Boxing Time TV, sure, it's a simulation, but I think this is how a lot of people think that it would probably go, and maybe that's why I'm seeing all these headlines. You know, you know, people like Johnny, Johnny Lewis, and you know his trainer telling him, "Hey," which I think Johnny Lewis is the trainer of Jeff of Jeff Horn. Oh wow! But Crawford walking into some shots, basically telling him, "Hey, look, fight somebody, fight somebody else." And oh wow, Jeff Horn being punched into the ropes. Terrence Crawford really feeling comfortable. He goes to the body again. He goes to the body again. That's what kind of set this whole thing up. He hit him with a body shot and then a beautiful right right hand. And Jeff Horn went down and oh, such just such a tough guy. And now he's getting shellacked along the ropes by 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 Terrence Crawford. Wow, what a big round! Terrence Crawford has really pulled a pull ahead here. He's really not, I mean you know he's getting hit you know minimally. And 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 Jeff Jeff Horn is just you know he he's got he doesn't have answers for this he doesn't he doesn't have answers for this Crawford just broke him broke him down to the to, with with shots to the body and the head mainly to the body and then landed that beautiful right right hand and I wish we could do replays on this because wow what a big fourth round for Terrence Bud Crawford who probably looks to close the show um, in the fifth round Crawford's breathing heavy Horn has, is very tired and has a bruised rib. They're all giving this round to Terrence Crawford. One judge, two judge giving it to him 10-8. One judge giving it to him 10-7. As we head into the fifth round. Oh, and Crawford's coming out. Oh, and just continues where he left off. Lands that, lands that left, left hand. And, and Terrence Crawford is, you know, you, you know give, him, give him all the credit in the world for what he's doing. He, he's, he's dismantling Jeff Horn. I'm assuming this bout... Maybe be in Brisbane, probably not. In order to, you know, maybe probably be in the United States. But man, Terrence, Terrence Crawford just having, just, you know, hey, he's he doing it the way that it seemed like he would do it. And, and, oh, 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 
Oh, just dismantling Tyron Jeff, Jeff Horn with that short left hand, hitting him with the right hand, and then cracking him with the left hand. If Jeff Horn gets up, I'll be very surprised. I don't think he's going to get up. What a performance from Terrence Crawford. No wonder people are telling him, avoid Jeff Horn, avoid Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford making easy work of Jeff Horn, who really came to fight and just didn't, just didn't have it. You know, just didn't have answers for what Terrence Crawford brought. The winner's Terrence Crawford by a knockout. The fight lasted five rounds. Crawford was not knocked down. Horn was knocked down two times and has a bruised rib. All right. Once again, you've been watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please, please find me on Instagram at Boxing Time with Evan. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please share these links. Please tell as many people as possible about it. Um, I want to make this page as big as I possibly can. Um, please let me know if there's fights you want to see. Direct message me or tell me in the comment section what you would like to see. Um, try to give me a week to make it and have the fight be at least a couple of weeks out. I'm sorry to the person who oh, I wasn't able to make the fight in time. And once again, you've been watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs and we'll see you at the fights.